much as the matter came up for hearing on uh, September 12th, uh, 2013, until now, a decision has not yet been given. Six months halting the anti-corruption court operations, on our part, we feel it's really unreasonable, given the recent research that shows Uganda constituting, um, continues to top the region's tables when it comes to the fight against corruption. I mean, our performance is very, very poor. And this, of course, has an impact whereby the so-called convicts are out there and it's like, you know, it's business as usual. Nothing is being done about it. There are people who have been, you know, out on bail for over two, three, four years down the road and no action is, you know, being taken. Initially, the Court of Appeal was not fully constituted. But right now, the Court of Appeal is fully constituted, and one only wonders why these cases are taking ages. But we also need to understand that the more a person delays on bail pending appeal, there's a possibility that the files can disappear, but then there's also another possibility that evidence on these files can be tampered with. The Constitutional Court missed an opportunity to be innovative, to be communicative, and to be fully accountable. This answer cannot be pending. It begs that all matters stay be stayed and an answer is given to this. The reasons may come later.